Oh, sí. No es una bonita. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. Is a fish, bro! All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Field Trips Panama. Welcome back to Los Buzos Resort. About to launch right now. We got a little bit of a swell today, so it's kind of a race against the clock before the tide gets too high and the beach gets too rough. Pulling the pongas down now. We got eight guys in eight kayaks. Today I'm going to be helping out in the boat, helping these guys catch bait, find fish, and film them catching some epic fish. Let's do it. You ready? Yee yee. Clients hopping in. Nice fat way to pick it up. Yahoo! Started getting a little nervous for a second. I was like, oh no, we're good, we're good. Actually, would you point that at me? Just in general, I don't know. Still so looks like I do some work around here, you know? <laughs> Look at this, first thing this morning, we're just coming over here to pick up a radio and these guys are doubled up. Just got here. We got Kurt, where are you from? Ohio. Kurt from Ohio. No, nowhere, Ohio. From nowhere, Ohio. I'm gonna, you're, you're okay. I just, I'm gonna get Abe in the water and then I'll come back and I'll help yeah. you with the fish finder, okay? Yep. Number two, uh, you got pulled way down towards the east now, so probably reset a bit. Same for you, Sam. Oh, We're out here on Pacific Lake, pretty much. Super calm this morning. Tegan's over here jigging. She's got it down after spending a couple days in the Ponga, learning the technique. She's jigging like a pro. Andy over here just caught himself a blue runner and put it out live. Yeah, for sure. We're all working on boots right now. <clears throat> Oh, see. We'll see if they're going north. No, it's not bonita. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to catch bait. This is not bait. Hit it pretty high up in the water column. We'll see if they inject. Está subiendo. It's coming up. Oh, Sierra. Uh, Gafe. Tenemos. Sierra Mackerel. Ah, suavecito. Oh, yeah. Bueno. Sierra Mackerel. Yeah, hit the jig uh, pretty high up in the water column. Screamed off some drag too, it's a decent one. All right, we're trying to catch bait. That's not bait, that's sear mackerel. Delicious to eat. Not a monster by any means, but uh, a little bit bigger than the class we've been catching. And that guy is delicious sashimi. He'll be going home with us. Dinner. Oh. Bleed him out. There we go. Listo. Una tira, una, una pesca, amigo, huh? Okay. 
profesional. <laughs> verdad, verdad. ¿Qué puedo decir? Just reel as fast as you can now. Unreal. Right next to us. Fast, fast, fast. Just get tight on him. Unreal. Que loco. Let's say. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Dude, unreal. Unreal. You're good. Pedro and I were just sitting right here next to him. And uh, yeah, we're all just counting out his rod as he got hit there. Unreal. Come on, please be the rooster for him. He deserves it. And he's had a killer week grinding it out here. There it is, dude. Enjoy it. Sleigh ride. Yes, sir! It's a good fight! Unreal! Why is your knee shaking? Huh? Why is your leg shaking? Know, <laughs> Strong fish. There you go. Just don't put it higher than your shoulders. Okay. Dude, this is a sick fish, man. What a fight. That was so sick to be right next to you when that went off. There you go. Just keep the pressure on him. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's nice and easy. Keep the same rhythm. Nothing sporadic. Should see him any second now. You got one foot forward. You're doing perfect. There he is. Big rooster. There you go. So right up in the gill plate, he should have a nice pocket. Yep, right there. Don't grab his gills and up in your lap. You deserve it, bro! Loco! Dude, you could not have done that more perfectly. Try, make sure you're not touching his gill plate. Watch the red part in his gills, okay? Okay. Don't let him bleed. I'll get some photos and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to release him, okay? Okay. Um, move your left hand out of there. Okay, where do I put it then? Just, uh, if you can, right on the other side or just hold him upright. There you go. Just like that's perfect. There you are, bro. What a fish! <laughs> oh, yeah. Tegan's on again. Screaming drag. Doing perfect. Yee hoo! <laughs> There's strong fish. That could be something different. Oh, oh. Tegan hooked up again, showing the boys how it's done. It's screaming out drag. She said, this is exhausting. <laughs> I think she's, she's from Canada. I think she's a little new to this kind of fishing. She's getting a little workout this morning. Yeah, it might be something else. One thing you can do is you can put the rod butt kind of like on your hip, if that makes sense. And it kind of gives you some leverage. Instead of having it under your armpit, it might help. It can kind of be a little uncomfortable on your hip, but yeah, a little more like that. Yeah, or a little down in your hip. So yeah, yeah. Like with your right hand, if you hold it a little bit more forward at the front of that grip, it'll be easier. There you go. 
<laughs> if it's a bonita, it's gonna be a big one. There you go. Just be careful getting off to the side too much. You're kind of leaning one way. Oh. I don't think it's a bonita. No, it's a bonita, no? It's a bonita. No, it's not. Yellow, yellow fin. Yeah, that's a yellow fin tuna. Oh, yay. Yeah. <laughs> that's a tuna. We need to gaff it. I don't want to gaff it. Okay. You want to gaff it? Tigging with a yellow fin tuna. Tigging with a yellow fin tuna. Not too many of those in central Canada. None. We're going <laughs> to go over here and gaff it for That's a solid one, too. Those are really strong fish. You should have been struggling, so don't don't feel bad. We're gonna come up here just uh, so when I get close, if you can try to lift up and kind of get it on the surface. Oh, good one. Yeah, now, now, now. Yeah. That's good. Look at that. Great tuna. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, just, yeah, perfect. Let out some line. Mirai sangre profesional. We're gonna let it bleed a little bit and then we're gonna get a picture with you in it with a jig in his mouth. That's get super cool. Boat. No, no, just hang on to the boat. Hang on to the boat. Yeah, you're okay. Oh my god, I don't want to <laughs> No, we're just putting it out of his misery. Yeah. He's good now. Done suffering. He'll still vibrate a little bit, but that's just nerves. He's done. Yay. This is a fantastic catch to you. Yeah, Great thank job. You. Like one of the most impressive catches from the kayak yet. Did I, did you know that I have three roosters? I did not, but not from the kayak. No, not It's pretty impressive kayak. catching this from the kayak. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, everything's a little more- like way more tiring than in the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know, I don't know. But these tuna, they're super strong. Like, they, they're built like a bonita, but they're way stronger. I was ready to give you the rod. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you did. I was ready to say, come get no the No way, did it all yourself? Let the next time hang around <laughs> she just banged out a nice tuna. Yes, sir. She's showing you boys up. Okay. Why don't you put the rod in that rod holder? We're gonna get some pictures of you. I got my nice. We'll get my nice camera out. So now it. it no, no. My whole for a photo. So what we're gonna do is at this hand, you're gonna slide up in there. And don't worry, he's dead. But I mean, he may still vibrate. So just be ready. Hold on to him pretty tight, and then hold there. Okay, you got him? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, does everybody want a blue runner? You're gonna hold it pretty tight. Can I okay. put my finger in his eye? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, he's done. Oh, <laughs> he's doing great. <laughs> How was that? How was that fight? Great! Here we go! <laughs> Struggling a little bit, they're strong. Yeah. Have you ever fished like this before in a never. kayak? Never. First time yes. from where? Toronto, Canada? Toronto. From yeah. Toronto. Not too many yellowfin tuna there. None. <laughs> totally different. She's out here jigging like a pro yeah. and showing up the boys. You're doing the best this morning yes, by far. Great. great work. All right. Thank you. you can hand that fish to him. Here we'll get the go. jig out. Great work. Got a little I'm blood. A bloody mess. You're a bloody mess. Tuna are they are bleeders. Sorry about that, but you can just rinse it off with some some water. <laughs> just kind of, you know, we're gonna get wet anyways. <laughs> oh, I got scales all over me. Ugh. This is definitely a a, not a dirty sport. That's yeah. part of it. Uh, oh, okay, no, stop it. Oh, good though. Okay, can I see the? Oh, he's gonna help wash you off. All gentlemen around here. I know. <laughs> That's like a rite of passage. If you're covered yeah. in blood, it means yeah. it's a good morning, you know? <laughs> Great work. Thank you. Super impressive. Like that means you're jigging you're jigging well. Yeah. To I'm fool the bonita is one thing. To fool a tuna means you're really you're doing it right. It again. And you can real yeah. Yeah. Feel free to take a break if you want. We probably need to kind of move back a little bit. Yeah. Alright guys, Tegan just just jigged up a nice yellowfin tuna. She's out doing the boys right now. Y'all better step it up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Super impressive. Great job. Sam's gonna be so frustrated. Yeah. I already know. This happens all like, the time. The women always outfish the men. It's like without fail. It's because I'm, I was paying attention, learning how to yep. do this. Women, how to it's because women listen and they're more patient than men. That's the reason. They always outfish their husbands and men. Yeah, it's so funny. Great job. Yeah, I'd keep keep going back a little ways. And if there's one tuna, there's a bunch more. And I, oh, and they still get scales. 
Yes, yes. Yeah, they're never alone, so. My man, Andy here with a yellowfin tuna first thing this morning. There it is. <laughs> Can't find a good hole, there we go. Can't find a good hole. Se bajaron. It doesn't really look like a bonita, it might be something else. Could be another Sierra, yeah. If it's small, man, put that thing out live, take it in shallow, they're rooster candy. But you gotta get it back in quick and then uh, you can't go too fast. Nice one? Yeah. Ah, buena sierra, El Diso. Otra sierra. Si, más grande, El Diso. All right, well he's ripping them up too fast. I keep missing it on video, but Lane has got another share in the boat. He said bigger than the last one. Like I said, this guy catches Spanish mackerel back home. Very similar fish, and he's got him dialed. Look at that, nice one. Yeah, dude. That's dinner, boy. Yee. Yeah. Uh, Lane in with, with the Sierra. No, that actually that would be good bait. That would be good bait. Not now. Not now yeah. <laughs> Great job, man. There's some sporadic bites over here. I don't care. Oh, that tuna looks good. Yeah, dude. Tegan, man. Hot I hands. Yeah, I know. Showing the boys how it's done. That is usually the case. That is the rule, not the exception. The women outfish the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd keep jigging, though, man. Those tuna will come back through for sure. Fish on the plastic. And a plastic, cabrón. I'll go one. Something good on the plastic. Okay, Fargo. Ah, posible on Jack. Might be a Jack or Vault. The second drop of the plastic today. It's been doing well for me this week. Really, the first time using them much here. It definitely won't be the last now. See you on Jack. Grande. Nice, Jack. Oh, okay. Whew. Decent Jack Revolve. That's on that soft plastic there. Again, just not something we traditionally have used much here. But the fish seemed to be liking it this week. Man, he really was not hooked that great. Got a little lucky on that one. But yeah, we don't normally eat these guys, but the locals do, and Victor here says he wants to take it home to his mom, which is totally fine with me. The sweet catch, super strong, you saw that. Really fun. On the plastic, and you know, a plastic amigo. Get the Gracias. Oh yeah, who the hell? Estaba en el piso, yo estaba pensando pargo, pero... No. Hey, pero mejor que nada. <laughs> Un poco mejor. <laughs> oh, your kayak was getting pulled. I think it's got to be a little heavier than a Benita. I don't think he's seen the kayak. No. Yeah, just nice and easy because that's like a 20 pound leader. So that, that looks like a decent fish. Okay. So just take it easy. Yeah, just take it easy on it. Just kind of let him tire himself out, keep the pressure on and when you can, reel down. Just start yeah, getting... Drag a little? No, you're good. Drag, that, that run sounded perfect. But he's definitely pulling your kayak, so that, there's some weight on that. A Bonita definitely would not do this. <laughs> Team Canada, back at it.
You're doing perfect, Al. Just keep that same rhythm. It's a good fish. It's better than going a good way. <laughs> I haven't seen him. No, I, I can't see him yet either. Honestly, I think he's sitting there when he sees the kayak. Yeah, I think he probably got like 20 more feet, 30 feet maybe. He goes for a stroll. Yeah. You guys can go for coffee. Yeah. Come back. Creo que no hay tanto poco. Uh-uh. I hope it's not one of those two bears. Why? I hope it is. In this place. You're, you're already halfway through it. Yeah. What do you mean you hope it's not a Kubera? Ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> ugly. It's ugly. Yeah. Holy shit. You're good. My arm's going to <laughs> It's nice and easy. The main thing is just keep your same rhythm. But you're definitely gaining on him. Uh, we were in the boat yesterday and had a had a real fun day, kind of teaching them some of the different methods and how to. They had never fished before in the salt water. They're from Canada, and uh, so the first day he got. Yeah, you're really gaining on him now. So the first day, he caught a bonita and got pulled into the water by his bonita, just like he's doing now. So the fact that we're, we're staying upright and hanging on to these fish is awesome. He caught a huge rooster yesterday out of the panga. He's gaining on this. We should see it here shortly. Say. See color yet? You see color? Nothing. Nothing, okay. Yep, I do. Okay. What color? White. White, okay. I see him, yep. Wow. Is that a big jack or is it a rooster? I still can't. Yeah, I can't tell yet either. I see him, yeah. Oh, yeah. Massive jack. Is it? Huge jack craval. Yep. You don't keep those, eh? No, well, but they are bruisers. Obviously, they are strong, strong fish. Wow. It's a big one. And that's a big one? Yeah. And they're good fighter, obviously. Very good fighters. They fight just like roosters. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Them. Yeah. He's coming. There you go, Wade. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Just keep, keep, That's keep reeling. You're good. Earlier. You're good. There you go. So now keep the rod tip towards the front of the kayak. Yep. Let a little line out and pedal towards him. Okay. Pedal towards him and he should come right to your hip. I see, I got yeah, it. Yeah, you see I what? Got it. Yep. Maybe a little more line so he can get back a little bit further. And then you're gonna grab him right up in his gill plate. Jeez, that is a tank. Gill plate? Yep, right up in there. Just, oh, yep, watch, watch the hooks of the jig. Yes, sir. Right up in there. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. You want me to help you? I get him yep. right in. Sure. There you go. Watch, watch the hooks. So, Let me get my right hand. You can grab right here on the tail too. I'm gonna flip. Yep, right on the tail. On the tail? Yeah, you can grab right there. You got gloves. Oh, watch it, watch the hooks, watch the hooks. There you go, buddy. Woo! <laughs> Just watch the hooks in his mouth. He's got that. Dude, that is actually massive, Jack. Yeah. Fuck, I don't see them. He ate it good. Try releasing him, let's see if he swims yeah. off. Yeah, just straight down, head first. Like that? Yep. Yeah, he looks like he's gonna go. Just like that. Woo! There he goes. Wow! Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I see him, yeah. Yeah, you see him? Yes. Man, that was awesome. Dude, that's a heck of, so you got it in the panga and now the kayak. Yeah. You can cross it off. Yeah, the bucket Dude. list. 
Oh, awesome. Thanks. I got him on a... I'm doing jigs. I, I was trolling with the jig, He's though. Trolling with the jig. Yeah. I got a bonita. So some bonitas come through, made one cast into them with a little jig and hooked up immediately. Landon's coming over here, we'll put it on his rod. We just had super clear blue water, just gorgeous. And then uh, some kind of current's coming through and now the water's green. But that could be good for fish like roosters and some other species. Now we may not see any more tuna today. But the green water is not necessarily bad, just kind of depends on what you're fishing for and some fish prefer it and they can't see your lure as well. And so sometimes it can be easier to get bites when the water is not crystal clear. <laughs> he saw the boat and said, no sir. Se ve el bote y no. Me voy. Yep, just come into the boat. Ah, oh, you son of a... Yeah, you can grab it, careful. Easy with the line. Yeah, are you gonna try to grab it? Yeah, it's kind of sticking between my knees, yeah. I learned that yesterday because I got smacked by one of the fish. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. He's bleeding, but it didn't get his gills, right? No, it was just in the corner. Though. Okay. Get him in quick, and I just beeline it, man. And the faster you can pedal, the, the more lively he'll be. And take it straight in there shallower is what I would do. Thank you. Yes, sir. Help me out. Good luck, bro. Light drag. Land in here says it's hooked up. Ah, oh, did it come off? Doesn't look very big if it ate your live bait. Does it feel heavy? Yeah, but it's dead like a shark. Uh, most of the sharks here, they'd, they'd fight. At least in the beginning. Oh, oh. Oh, might be coming at you. Might have let it go. Damn. <laughs> What's your bait look like? Has it got scratches on it, like sandpaper almost, or no? Yeah, it's descaled. Yeah, then that's probably a rooster, man. He like grabbed it and then slowly went and then took off and then I waited like 10, 15 seconds. Let me oh, see. Ho the whole time. Hold it up. Oh, see. Guy. Yeah. Guy or an Almaco Jack? Rooster or an Almaco Jack? It's the only thing that'll scrape it like that. Drop it down dead, man. Drop it right back down and, and feed out line. Whatever it is could be swimming around there looking like where to go. They'll eat that dead. We've caught roosters on dead Benitas. It's okay, man, it happens. You'll get another chance. Oh, go so get it. Oh, it's a good one, bro. Hey, my grande. I'll get some pictures, yeah. <laughs> oh. Dude, is that a seer? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. The leg's shaking, dog. <laughs> That's a good one, bro. Andy here. The stud Sierra. Yeah, grab them real tight right there. Just real tight. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Yeah, watch it. Andy from Ohio with the biggest Sierra mackerel of the trip. That's great eating. That's dinner there, bro. Nice work. Yeah, sharp teeth, man. Be careful. <laughs> we'll come grab it from you now. I was on your bucktail Yeah, man, I'm telling you. 
That, the... Just dragging it around. Dude, the bucktail jig... On the light. Like, you drop me on any deserted island, one lure, feed myself, it's a bucktail jig anywhere in the world. I got, pull. I got it. Anywhere in the world. That's That thing just works. Here, if I'll get you, just... Toss it right? Toss it right in there. All right. Dude, nice. Yeah, it's bigger man. than I realized. Can I get a bones? My man. <laughs> Great one. I didn't realize it was that big. Sick, Ooh. dude. Great catch. There you go. You've been putting in the time and the work, man. I'm glad you got rewarded. God, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let me douse myself. Can I see that? Yeah, you got blood on your face. You look like, like a badass. You look like something out of Terminator or something. Like, you've been... <laughs> At war. Guess you have been. Got this guy in his ass, but we're gonna count it. <laughs> Man, the plastic. The plastico, amigo. Got Honest Abe here now hooked up. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, that's a fish. Doing all right? You look perfect. You're not, you're not close to the breakers at all either. Grande. Big Friday. Big, big Friday. The fish always come through for us. It's like they know. Let's send these boys out on a high note. There you go. Just keep the pressure on them. You're doing perfect. Right in our backyard. You got one foot forward, yep, looks good. Just keep the pressure on and keep it on. Rooster? Yep. Awesome, dude. Smaller one than the other, but yeah, it's still a rooster. Heck yeah. So you remember what to do, right? Did, did you land it or? So if you can, grab that leader and then you can pull him right to yourself. Yep. And then just right up in his gill plate, but just watch the red part. Right there, perfect, man. Yes, sir. Another rooster. Awesome, man. Did right in the top of the mouth, the hook. Well, I'd say, coming from Kansas, you know what you're doing now, man. All by yourself. Unreal, man. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Thank you. Whenever you want to release them, go for it. Head first. You should swim off strong. Yep, he's got a kick in him, there you go. Just kind of release him so his head goes down and he'll be good. There he goes. Okay. Uh, I Otra. All right, Vlad, yeah, don't, don't grab it or anything, okay? I'll be right there. I, I just, yeah, landed. I think you're hooked into the bottom. I'll be right back. Uh, o Otra Maria, Otra Maria. Okay, just uh, yeah, wait it out. El tiene un línea atrás, pero cae Camarillo, yeah. Got Sam hooked up now. Okay. 
It's nice and easy, that's the small rod. If you want, you, you can cut the line. Yep. Just cut that right on, on top of your lap. You're doing well, just keep the pressure on them. Just cut that. Awesome, buddy. There you go. You're good, you're good. There you go. Stay in it. It's all wrapped in there? Yep. Um, yeah, there's not much I can do to help. You're just going to have to untangle it and cut it all out. Just keep the pressure on that fish. You're doing great. Just remember, you got a light leader on that, so keep it nice and easy. There you go. You're good. There we go. Almost. Good deal, man. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. There you go. What a fight. Say, it's all good, man, it's all good. You're able to come through it. Say. Might be good, you might get your bait back, too. I think so, too. He's probably all wrapped up in it. What's that? Might be a jack. Unreal. Okay. Andy, I see it, buddy. I see it. Stay tight. Stay tight. I see it. We got Sam here with the rooster. Unreal. Let's go, Sam. Un freaking real. On the bait rod with the jig. Unreal. That's a big one. That's a nice one. Get him up in your lap. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh gee whiz, how is that staying on? How is that staying on? What? <laughs> Holy smokes. I, put some... I don't know how that leader's staying. Gra uh, grab him in the gill plate and put him up in your lap. Where the... <laughs> on the bucktail. So yeah, he's good, right up in his gill plate. Don't touch the red part. If you paddle, pedal two clicks forward, it should come right to your hip. I'd say let a little line out. See? Abe, uh, um, if you don't mind, just talk me through whatever happens there with Andy. I just got to help, uh, help uh, Sam here. Yeah. Let some line out. There you go. Now pedal two clicks forward. It'll come right to your hip. There you go. There you go. There it is, in, in the kayak. There it is, Sam! Buddy, we did it! What a fight, the whole getting out the other line, cutting it. Oh, fuck, dude, you that deserve that. Work. You deserve that, bro. Uh, uh, all right. Andy, you all good over there? Oh, I was just on bottom, nothing to worry about here. Okay, 10-4. Dude. Oh, that like a, like a pro, like a pro, say it. You're a veteran now, buddy. Uh, Unreal. Muy lindo. Muy lindo. Woo! Way to go, Sam. Alright, we're gonna get some photos. 
health and then get him back quick because that was a that was a good fight. Unreal, bro. And then head first, he should I don't swim. Think he's gonna go as tired as okay, well. let's see. Yep, there he goes. Looks like he went. Wow. Beating myself up. <laughs> Dude, man, what a all the line. He deserved that man. Oh uh, look at the yeah. hook, it's all yeah, give me some. Uh, Where'd he go, man? Woo! So now I have no idea what the f is happening here, but no, who cares? You uh, got you got your fish. You got your rooster. Hours now to figure this out. You were saying you were waiting for that for like five years, right? Uh, yeah. Moy for it, yeah. Yeah, nice leader. Thanks, Dude, boss. Uh, here. Oh, that's the one I just tied. Yeah, that's the one you just tied. There's no way. That's a 20-pound leader. Wanna... That's Can a. You, uh, yeah, no. Oh, ah, see. Dude, how? That's a 20 pound leader. You wanna know what else? I was sure you were gonna pop I that. Threw that. I threw them in the water, I let some line out, the loud out, uh -huh. and then I just trolled it yep. nice and slow yep. with, the, with this one. Yep. This one was a cluster. Oh, yeah, it was. No, I mean, look at that. All the line on the reel. Woo! Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah. So, Catch. what I would say. Let's cut this uh, bucktail off, and you put him in a shadow box and remember it forever, okay? <laughs> Dude, and the blue, the blue and the, the pink! Blue, the blue, blue and the pink! Unreal! Be ready. Is he coming up some? Good, good. All right. Got a bite on the uh, chunk of Bonita. Brian's on the rod. Oh, hang on. Oh! I just saw it jump. Okay, shark. Shark. Se saltió. Cuidado. <laughs> yeah, it could jump in the boat. Careful, careful. Yeah. Yeah, just, do you see it jump? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <Ay>, carajo. <laughs> Punti negro, muy peligroso. Yeah. <laughs> Mira. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh... Bajo el toro. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, oh. oh. Careful, Tiga. Be like, be paying attention, cause the thing could jump in the boat, like on top of you. I don't know. Be an experience. Yeah. Uh, can you swing the rod tip over here? Is that a white tip? Uh, it's a black tip. A black I don't think it's actually a black tip shark. There's a lot of sharks that have black tips. Oh yeah, it is a black tip. It's got. If it has black on the anal fin. Oh, hey, yeah, su línea. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you got yours back? Okay. Ahora sí. Amigo. Oh. picture? No. <laughs> hey, it's bigger. Yeah. Yo sí quiero uno. Yeah. Se se botar, quiere picarte. Yep. You want you want your lunch? Just water, like I'm good. Good. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh. Lord. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I told you today's the day. It ain't over. You From the kayak, see. too. See if you've given up you on the kayak. Know, you don't know the half of it. Bro, Dakota told me something. You reeled in the, like this line or something? or I, I had a blue runner on that one. And I started jigging this one for, for stuff. And then I was like, well, let me just run with both. So I put this out. And then this one just went nuts. And halfway through the, halfway through the fight, uh, I realized that I was hooked on the line. <laughs> and then I called them, and they came over, and they're like, we can't really do anything right now. 
So just keep working. At one point, they just wrap into the oh, God. wheel. So I cut the reel, and then the line went whoop onto the rest of the line. I'm like, fuck it, okay. Then I can't turn this because the line the line's is wrapped. in there. Oh, so I cut another piece and then I pulled around the couple as I'm fighting this stupid thing. <laughs> then eventually I right. was able to wheel around. So that's, uh, I wheeled some and then we thought we were gonna get our bait back because the line, the other line was so wrapped into it. Wow. Instead, they just came up a piece. And then you put the rod in the rod holder. Well, and then but to be fair, I actually you opened, I backed gave, on the drag. I, good. I backed up oh, the okay. drag. That's so, smart. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, That's smart. That's why it didn't break then. Otherwise, it would have been. Yeah, good job. Yeah, it was like, I don't know why well, it didn't break. It sounds like I'm you like, earned the rooster, is what I it sounds really like. I worked my ass off of that one. <laughs> 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 I, was so, I was like jumping up and down when I heard you got one, man. I, huh? I was really excited. She caught one on the, on on the jig. Here's something else, lady. Unconscious at 3 p.m. <laughs> you, you gotta eat some for him. All right, everybody wait, got their shot? Wait, we gotta do uh, the, the crow. Oh, yeah, we gotta do the crow. All, All right, right. everybody Pitch got their shot? Up. All right, on the count of three, we do your best rooster crow. One, two, three. It's a pleasure, brother. Go, so, I will. I will, man. Um, I will. Yeah, get in there, man. Get in here. What an awesome week, you guys. Really man, 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 man. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Great job. Great job. Brother. Good seeing you. If you ever Such come, a blast, to, come to Ohio. Yeah, you know? I will. No, I'm just <laughs> great to meet don't, you. Don't fish man. with that. Yeah. Such a pleasure, man. Be safe going on. Enjoy it. Bye, Jen. Bye, Jen. <laughs> Hey man. Okay, hey, bro. Good to see you. Awesome meeting you, man. Yeah, such a blast. Y'all be good. Safe travels home. Another group down. Nobody died again. <laughs> 